Welcome to White Bat Wax, my wax weirdos. Today I have a quick little video in which I am demonstrating some of the wrapping for three of my, well, all three of my initial launch scents. I'm not going to be revealing any of the scent names in this video. That will be for a future video. Sorry to tease you, but it actually ended up working out because I was supposed to release the scent names in this video, but my labels have not arrived. So there you go. We are now forced to save it for a future video, but ooh, is your interest peaked? Is it peaked? All right, so let's talk a little bit about packaging. So initially, when I decided to open up a wax melt shop, I had a very clear vision of how I wanted to package the wax melts. The first idea wasn't even to have a wax bars. It was something else entirely, but as with everything, nothing is set in stone and one must be flexible when it comes to a small business, especially crafty small businesses, right? And we have to be crafty when it comes to making spur of the moment changes. We have to be flexible, we have to be ready to alter our plans. And in this case, I ended up going with wax melt snap bars. So the mold that I purchased is a small mold that holds about two ounces of wax, which is standard. And I thought, okay, how am I going to package these bars. I want to be eco-friendly for the customers out there for whom that is important, but I also want to release a larger size that is packaged in a recyclable plastic container for those who prefer a clamshell. So while I was working through getting the packaging supplies for the smaller bars, which are going to be the regular size bars in the shop, I came up with using this parchment paper. It's technically glassine paper, but parchment paper would work okay, but I would, I would recommend glassine because of the slicker surface. That just keeps any of the oils and waxy bits contained within the package. So the regular size containers, or rather the regular size wax bars, are going to be wrapped in glassine and then I am then taking those glassine packets and sliding those into a paper envelope. On that paper envelope, I'm going to have the scent label as well as the warning label. And as luck would have it, while I was working through this, I came up with the idea to create the larger bars. The larger snap melt bars, those are going to be called the XL sparkle snap bars, and those are going to be packaged in a clam shell. The clamshell is plastic and it is recyclable. You can just wipe it out and toss it into your recycle bin. No worries. It's just not going to be biodegradable as the glassine and the paper is, but it is recyclable. I am not going to be sharing any of the extra large bars in this video. Again, we'll share those for a future video, but I just wanted to get on here and show you just a little preview of how I wrap my wax melt bars to be eco-friendly less plastic, that sort of thing. This isn't necessarily important to all consumers and it isn't always practical. I have to say that because depending on where you live, depending on the shipping service that you use, depending on your living situation, having something packaged in paper may not be practical. I totally understand that. And that is why I accidentally, happy accident, decided that it would be a wise move to offer two different styles of packaging. Now, the small bars are going to be packaged in the paper and then that large bar, you see a large bar in, your, in my video here, you'll see them. They're a little chunkier, they're, they're big old babies. Those are the ones that are going to be in the clamshells. So just to keep things simple, small bars, eco-friendly paper packaging, larger bars are going to be wrapped in the recyclable clamshells. Take that information as you might if you are starting your own candle business and whatnot. I'm sure you have your, your thoughts about whether or not you want to go eco-friendly or recyclable. I think it's important to keep those things in mind. Take it all into consideration. I'm not using any superfluous materials. I'm not adding uh, any bows or any little dingly dangles to my packaging. I want to keep things simple and easy to biodegrade or recycle. And this is the solution that I came up with and I think it's a good one. Does it take a little bit longer to package? Yes, the little bars, absolutely. I have to 
make the wax melts, take them out of the mold, then I have to hand wrap every single one. It, it's a labor of love. It's a small business. They're homemade wax melts. It is what it is. I'm proud of what I'm making. They look adorable. And I hope that my future customers enjoy the extra work that goes into them. I think they look sleek and cute in either packaging. And by the way, on the topic of biodegradable, recyclable, the sparkles that I use, any of the glitters and all of that, everything is eco glitter it is biodegradable glitter i have two suppliers currently actually where i purchase my sparkles my eco glitters all of that i will not be divulging any of the names or the online stores where i purchase my packaging materials the glitters the dyes anything like that simply because this is a small business and with the internet being the internet we have to be a little bit more private and a little bit more proud of what we're doing and by that i mean don't give away all of your secrets for free to anyone on the internet i am here to maybe inspire dare i say entertain with my smelly shenanigans i don't know maybe maybe a little bit of both maybe i inspire you to start your own craft open your own business and hopefully i entertain you in the process but um, I, creating, being an artist, being, because that's what I do, by the way, if you are new to this whole world, I am actually an artist, that's what I do full time, I have a vintage shop, that sort of thing. Um, but anything that I do, anything that I make, anything that I create, anything that I sell, I am very proud of and I put blood, sweat, tears, way too much time, way too much money into everything and why would I give that up for nothing, right? Um, but that's it. That's all I have to say for this video. I hope that your interest is piqued for future videos, future packaging videos, the full packaging reveal, and the scent reveal. If you are not following White Bat Wax already, what are you doing? What are you doing? Take a look down below. I have a link to my Instagram down there. Follow me. I will be posting lots of beautiful, sparkly, waxy, delicious photos over there and more videos will come in the future on this channel as well this little venture is definitely uh i hesitate to call it a quote-unquote side hustle but it is definitely not my full-time work again as i said i have a vintage shop and i'm also an artist slash illustrator so that is what takes up the bulk of my time but this is my my wind down this is my hobby this is my weekend project and so far I am digging it. It has been a long time coming. I've been working on this for nearly a year and it is finally seeing the light of day. I'm excited to see where it goes, changes in my formulas, changes in my packaging maybe, who knows? We'll see how this little brand evolves. I hope that you're excited to join me along for the ride. Like this video, please, engagement helps. Always leave me a comment, leave me a little sparkly bat down in the comments if you are so inclined. And that is going to do it for this video. How many times am I going to say that? I am now officially leaving. I will see you again in the next one, my waxy weirdos.